everybody. This here is Brigadier General Mason Patrick, and obviously this is a reenactment. Don't take offense to the voice over that I'm doing, because you know what? I don't sound intelligent when I do my normal voice. So don't get your underjohns all in a bunch. It's just meant to be entertaining. So, I am a Brigadier General in the United States American Expeditionary Forces and I was a commander of the Combined Air Forces under General John Pershing in World War One. And in case you don't know, we call that WW1. It's just one of the many acronyms that we love to use in the Armed Forces. Okay? Okay. So, moving forward, I was born in Virginia and I graduated from West Point. That's probably all you need to know about me, but a nice young United States Army gentleman by the name of Mr. Chuck Holmes has a nice short biography of me at the website listed at the top of your screen. So if you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to go there. Now you may know I was a huge advocate of aerial warfare and of the airplane. And as any airman or cadet will tell you, when you got when you're in an airplane and you got one of these anti-aircraft guns shooting at you, it's one of the most feared instruments of war. And the poop will immediately arrive at the door or your butthole. Let me tell you, I know. Now I'm not trying to gross you out, it's just the realities of war. Okay, okay, so we got that straight. Now, a lot of times the anti-aircraft gun would also be a snipper. Now, some people call this a sniper nowadays. Trust me, I was around when the term was invented, and the proper vernacular is snipper, but that's a discussion for a whole nother day. All right, okay, now moving forward. Um, the anti-aircraft gunner was so deadly because it could take out the airplane in the sky and can also take out the ground troops on the ground. Now watch this move right here. Look at that. That was the birthplace of the Japanese kamikaze. It happened purely by accident. An anti-aircraft gun blinded a pilot. The pilot did the old loop-de-loop -loop to get away and ended up kamikaze right into a bomber. And that's how the Japanese got the idea. Believe me, you heard it here first. Got it? You got it. Okay. Well, I'm going to shut my flapjack eater and let you enjoy the rest of the WW1 anti-aircraft gun footage. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. Now that's an order, soldier. This is Brigadier General Mason Patrick, and I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. This World War I reenactment has been brought to you by Dragon71. No actors, soldiers, airplanes, insects, organic matter, Volvos, BMWs, and certainly no Volkswagens were injured during the filming of this reenactment. For California residents, dust was stirred up and moved during the making of this video, and someday it may or may not cause you harm according to the state of California. Thank you for watching. you to look right here at this poor bomber pilot. I just about can't stand to watch it. Cause too many a good man have died this way. And he's trying to evade, but the reality is them shells are just ripping them apart. It's too late. Well, wait a minute. That's a German. Well, shoot that son of a gun down. My goodness. Woohoo. Mark one down for the good guys. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see right there.
was flying up in a bomber. We was trying to get a strategic overview of the battlefield. And Mother Nature called. And, you know, back then with the rations and everything, they were meant to plug you up, I think. Because I figured a more uncomfortable man, the meaner he'd be. So when Mother Nature called, you just went ahead and did what you had to do. So we opened up the bomb day, bomb one of the bay doors there. And uh, I went ahead and dropped trial. And right as I was getting my business on, an anti-aircraft gunner spotted me. And... I'm not going to say much about it, but let me tell you that somehow or another that bomber pilot managed to barrel roll that bomber a few times. And it was not a pretty sight. <laughs> I'm glad I was not a junior airman that had to clean that mess up. That probably would have made me deserve it. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs>